Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Saturday. Let's continue with our A to Z of LGBTQ plus history. P is for the pink triangle. They were used as badges in concentration camps in Nazi Germany to identify men who'd been sent there for being gay. Hitler saw homosexuality as a threat to the survival of the German people and his campaign to purify the country both racially and culturally. It's estimated as many as 15,000 gay men were placed in camps between 1933 and 1945. They were treated harshly as the lowest of the low, two-thirds are believed to have died. Stefan Kaczynski from Poland was just 17 when he was sent to a concentration camp after his love letter to a male soldier he'd been seeing was intercepted by Nazi police. He told the USC Show Foundation a court sentenced him to five years. They started to shout. You must be punished. You must be isolated. You are like a whore, Polish whore. And my mother was there. She was sitting. We couldn't spark nothing. And it was the last thing of my mother. The pink triangle was originally intended as a badge of shame. It's since been reclaimed, though, as a symbol of gay pride, protest and liberation. Q is for Queer as Folk, the UK TV drama that broke boundaries with its depiction of the lives of gay men in Manchester and England. It launched in 1999 and from the outset, writer Russell T Davis didn't hold back. Episode 1 featured 15-year-old Nathan having sex with Stuart, who's 29. The show's sponsor, Bex Beer, pulled out. The programme's unapologetic portrayal, putting gay men front and centre of the story, was seen as groundbreaking. And a fun fact, I'm actually an extra in the first episode. And R is for Bayard Rustin. He was the main organiser of the March on Washington in 1963, where Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech in front of more than 250,000 people. Bayard's recently been the subject of a Netflix film. It looks at the homophobia and racism he came up against and how he wouldn't hide his sexuality for political convenience. I'm Kev McGraw. We'll continue the Pride Daily A to Z of LGBTQ plus history tomorrow.